Hello, hello! We are back again, and we are ready to keep going. My team all set up, I think. Got my item preps done, which is actually like a lot, a lot more of an like a uh, a challenge than you would expect. Uh, my items are just like all over the place, like from previous chapters and stuff. I'm just realizing Trek has not been ruled a single time, so he's going to be like almost Wendy tier if he comes up. So, oh my gosh. Even Wendy's higher level, that's bad. Okay, jeez. Uh, anyway, let's jump in. These chapters have been really long. Oh my gosh. I think you actually get something for saving those villagers, but I remember being like, really tough, so it's like, eh, I don't know. We'll see. Ah, Elfin! He's finally here. Oh, he comes to the angelic group and a blue jump. It's pretty nice. Remember that. Cool. Go Elfin. Elfin is going to be a really solid candidate to be my wild card, like a lot of the time. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of like trading off between him and Dorothy, I'd imagine. Granted, I get another one of my favorites in this chapter as well, down here. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit more challenging uh, moving forward, I think. Um, Thus far, it's really just been like, I've only had one of my like absolute favorite characters, but um, once I start getting more and I want to start like juggling them, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, if you're curious, the other favorites of mine are Elfin, who I just mentioned, Geese, who I am about to get, Zeiss, who is still a few chapters off, and Hugh, who is also a few chapters off. Same as ice, in fact. So it's gonna be cool to get those. I uh, always like them. Really fun characters. Lance is kind of falling behind a little bit. So let's get the ten exp. Why not? I don't think they really have any like positioning to do. Hopefully that's a good first turn. Hopefully I don't lose on turn one. A little concerned for Tate. Uh, she kind of starts off like moderately. She's a little bit like Shanna, I guess. Like she starts off in kind of a tricky spot as far as like EXP and stuff. Yeah, good try, dude. Yeah, you totally almost killed Dorothy. <laughs> my my Dorothy is doing very well. I have a lot of trust in. Um, yeah, I think it's like an energy ring for saving the villagers. Oh my gosh, am I even gonna try? Um, I remember trying like the last time I did this map, and uh, if I recall correctly, they all just kind of uh, blow themselves up against like the ballista and stuff, and it's like, oh great. Thanks guys, you are doing a fantastic. Just terrible sounds. That was a good, good job. Everything is going great already. I'm really worried about these ballista ranges, unfortunately. Just it makes the a kind of an iffy roll. Um, yeah, it's actually a chance. Yeah, That'd be bad. I mean, it's not much. I'm not gonna like fret over it, but it is like a little bit, uh, a little bit concerning to see. Uh, one off. Well. OJ is now my OJ again. I guess. He's setting up the kills. Very nice. Very nice OJ again. Dorothy still has her uh, speed issues, unfortunately. I haven't given her uh, her speed wing just yet. I'm kind of waiting to see, like... Maybe she'll even out a little bit on the next few levels, and then she will need it. Maybe. Uh, it, part of it is just like, as far ahead as Dorothy is right now, it's like I feel kind of bad giving her more favoritism. So I'm like, uh, just kind of wait and see what happens, I guess. Alright, come on, let's go right here. Nice! so good, oh my gosh. 
Uh, Roy needs to be moving down to get Mr. Geese. And that looks pretty good. Rory, Rory is going to be quite busy this chapter, unfortunately. Uh, he has two recruitments to grab because, unfortunately, Fear is not around to get one of them. That's all I've got to say about that. Fear's not around. Don't know where she went. She's, uh, she's AFK. She just, uh, fell asleep on the keyboard. <laughs> oh, sorry, Fear Bands. Tempting as it is to, uh, start barrier. Stopping for EXP probably shouldn't. Let's go, Saul. Come on, get a good level up, please. Alright, cool. Ow. I a lot. I was actually kind of worried about getting doubled, if I'm being honest. I expect him to double. Nice try. You almost hit Dorothy. And by almost, I mean you were terrible and you did nothing. Well, maybe the Blizzard doesn't go for them. I just remember them, like, blowing themselves to pieces, but maybe it's, like, maybe I'm thinking of, like, this group. If that's the case, I could probably save them. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll try that. Um. That Berserker really has me concerned. Uh, just like, in general. Oh my gosh. This is... I don't know about this. Um, I'm kinda like, like, as I'm committing to it, I'm kinda like, second guessing myself. We'll see. I'm early enough that, uh, I'm kinda just willing to, like, trial and error it a little bit and see how it goes without damage checking, because, like, um,. If I lose at this point and I'm mad, it's like, whatever, I'll just reset. It's weird that Roy is so reliable at this point in the game for me, like, it's it's Roy. Um, I'm a little concerned about uh, Dorothy if I do that, though. It's like, everything can hit her. I said everything can hit Roy, which is probably, like, not a good idea. Maybe that wasn't a good move, as I say, as I did the move like 10 minutes ago at this point. Probably not 10 minutes, but you know. Yay! Uh, fine, I guess. Yeah, Tate's kind of in a tricky spot. Uh, I actually think that you can, like, maybe move and dance her to where she can get to this ballista, but I'm not really in a position to even go for that, fortunately, which means that she's kind of just dead weight for the time being until I uh, can either clear the ballista out or, like, burn through its uses. She's not my favorite thing ever, but... I'm really hoping that Roy does, like, pretty well here. I don't know, I kind of just, like, I was like, oh, he's doing fine, I'll just put him there and he'll be alright. I'm actually kind of going to about Walt, though. Um, I'll just rescue, I guess. I'm going to be mad if that Ballista does turn on the villagers, like, uh... I'm doing this under the assumption that it's not going for them, but then I'm like, I don't know, man. I feel like I were- okay, good. Go Crit, go Roy. I almost said go Crit. Your name is not Crit, as far as I know. Oh my gosh. Go Crit? I renamed it Crit now. There's no turning back. Eh, I don't love this. Good. Nice. It's 
so weird that the ballista's going for Zealot. Sure, I guess. Ow! Oh my gosh. Yikes, that hurt. Um, cool. Let's mend you up, crit. Okay, uh... Not great. Pretty shaky head rates, unfortunately. I really like to like clear this out, but I don't know how feasible that is, unfortunately. I don't think Crit can even get there, can he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All you need is two pairs of boots, and you can get there. Just just do that, okay? Yeah, Saul's gonna be in really big uh, trouble if he stays there too. Uh, cool. Cool. Okay, cool. Your name isn't Crit, but you got the Crit. Very, very cutting edge. I am really shocked with how OJ is doing, by the way. Like, it's just kind of wild, honestly. Um,. I can't put Elvin in range of uh, either Ballista, like, there's no way. Okay, cool. Okay, do I have a Vulnerary on anybody? Like, Zealot's, like, more injured than I would have hoped for. I mentioned it a few minutes ago, but I'm going to be, like, absolutely furious if the, uh, Ballista just decides to target the villagers now. Like, haha! I was just kidding the whole time! Granted, there are, like, reinforcements from the, uh, like, enemy stronghold, so... I'm not really out of the water as far as the villagers go anyway, I don't know. I'm kind of, like, half-heartedly trying to save them, but I'm not, like, super committed to it. Uh... I guess you guys will just continue to stand up here until we can take care of this bullet day, because there's really not much I can do, unfortunately. Um, it's gonna blow up half of these units. Yeah, there those lovely enemies are. And they charge! Nice. I'm really sick of that bullet already, like, really sick of it. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's getting out of his ballista. Okay. I don't know why he's doing that. Run! Really, I, I'm, I'm honestly kind of uh, intrigued by this AI and like why it's not going for uh, the villagers. Like it has to. I feel like it. Okay, sure, but that works. Oh, nice, I love. I, I feel like it has to be programmed not to. Like, I can't imagine that it's like being like, yeah, uh, I can kill Zealot more quickly than I can these villagers. I don't know. I'm also surprised Geese hasn't appeared yet. I thought he appeared earlier than this, but like, whatever. He uses you have left two. Okay, cool. It'll be nice to get rid of that. Like, really nice. Um, Bartray appears around here soon, too. Uh, let's send Lance over. I'm trying to, I'm like kind of weighing out like who could take a ballista hit. I'm, there's no way I can kill someone else, like none. Unless he gets crit or something, like, I just can't imagine like... Unfortunately, I don't really, well, okay, Wolves will be fine, I think. I don't really trust the rest of them not to get one shot by this ballista, um... They're very frail. Okay, well, there are some pirates. Unfortunately, neither of them are geese. I think so, at least. I'm pretty sure he starts off as a green unit. Ow. This guy has just been very mean to poor Zealot. Geese! Yes! I love geese. 
love Geitz too. However, however you're supposed to pronounce it, Geitz, Geitz, Goots. Both brothers are very cool. I feel like uh, Geese is usually considered pretty low tier, unfortunately, but I, uh, I don't know. I like him. But being honest, I feel like they didn't really do him justice. He has like a seasonal alt in Heroes, but I feel like they didn't really do his art justice, if I'm being totally honest. Like, uh, he's like really hot here, <laughs> and then like in Heroes, he just kind of looks like, I don't know. It's just that it's really like wonky art. It's not even bad, it's just like kind of off. Oh, geese. Yeah, he's usually... Most people don't like him, but I like him, so... Uh, I guess I'll just try for the hand axe. It's really unreliable. Nice! It is going to be so difficult to even, like, try to juggle in, uh... Geese in a run like this, unfortunately. Like, I'm gonna... Like, if he gets rolled, I'm absolutely going to be, like, using him, but... Now Roy is gonna have to double back. Um, man, I don't feel super comfortable with it with a zealot situation, unfortunately. Maybe these villagers are just like not that hard to uh, rescue on hard, because I'm like, uh, or normal, I mean, because I'm like I'm used to hard, and I'm like, this feels like suspiciously easy. What's the catch? I don't know. Um. One more turn, and then the uh, randos can start randoing in. Yes, I just used the word randos as a noun and then a verb. Why, I don't know. Where the hell is Bartray? Does he, like, not... I'm, like, starting to wonder if he, like, doesn't show up if Fear's dead or something. That would be really depressing. I can't imagine that's the case. Surely not! I've actually, like, I don't think I've ever done this chapter with Fear Dead, and I'm like... Is he, like, mourning? <laughs> that would be sad. No, surely he just, surely he just, like, takes a while to show up or something, I don't know. Oh, he really needs, like, we like, move in that direction, like, quite quickly. Why are these guys so weak? Okay. I should visit that village. Nice target practice for... Um, I think it's a red gem, if I'm recalling correctly. Send Wolt down, I'll send Gonzalez down. I'm gonna kinda, like, split up and try to divide and conquer. Yay! Tate Thea can do something. Nice. I ain't really need to watch these, especially that guy. Uh, I can't imagine the other ones are like all that threatening, but I just need to be kind of cautious. It's nice that the Ballista's done now. Still wondering where uh, Bartray is. Did he get lost? I'm like really getting a little bit concerned that he doesn't show up if Fear is dead. I don't think I've ever heard of that being a thing, but I'm like, it's not something I've ever especially tested, so it's like, I don't know. I mean, it's not like the end of the world if he doesn't join, but it's kind of a shame. I mean, I wanted him. He's still a pre promote either way. Alright. I think my shin's doing. Pretty well. His offenses are pretty balanced. Ah, I just sneeze. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, I'll edit it. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I just kind of muted myself for a second and did nothing. My allergies have been really awful this year, like, I, I have bad allergies, and, like, they've been worse than usual. I am so glad that that Berserker did not hit Zealot, because I feel like that would have been, like, really ugly. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna kinda charge it in, I guess. I'm not really feeling confident in this one, but it is like four, five versus three. Say four versus three, but no, okay. Well, yeah, I might be able to get there. It's nice to have a dancer, and a dancer that I'll actually use. This isn't an Iron Man. Oh my gosh. I I did not use to have this like at all. I think she was in like what one map total. Like as far as like after I got the playmate. There's Bartray, jeez dude, it took you long enough. This is an interesting situation because I actually kind of want Bartray to keep going like up. Because otherwise I think he's going to try to charge it on the enemy base, and that sounds like miserable. I'm actually gonna like redirect Thea, I think. Uh, I figure if she rescues Roy, uh, that might save me a turn or two at least. Probably not all that much in the long run, but... Yikes. Yikes. Ow. Um... How comfortable do I feel with this? <laughs> not very, honestly. Um... Try this. Nice. Good. Okay. Cool. Go Lance. Actually, kind of surprising as a one round, if I'm being totally honest. Like, he's been kind of in the background for a little while. Alright. Pretty decent. Not anything like wild, but you know, take it. I am very. I, I wonder if we're gonna. <laughs> interesting. I wonder if we're gonna actually just like. Oh, okay, go. Go a lot. Nice. Yoink. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, there goes that uh, pressure, I guess. All right, cool. <laughs> you know, it, it works. I'm, that's, that's all there is to say about that. It works. I'm, uh, I'm taking you with me, Bartray. Sorry, Bartray's friends. Are the power reinforcements is done already? This map is like so much easier on normal. Like I, I don't even want to like. It's not like I'm bragging or whatever, I guess. But like oh, seriously, I, this is like so much harder and hard. Like I remember there being way more pirate reinforcements. I kind of hope they both miss. Oh, okay. The other one didn't even attack. Cool. Sorry for stealing your boss, dudes. Um. Hmm, this is Dorothy. Dorothy, what are, why are you even asking me that? <laughs> I, it just feels so weird to like just <laughs> run in and grab Bartray and just like zip off with him. Like, all right, thanks, see you, dudes. Well, she might not get any combat at all, but she's doing well on that front, I guess. I kind of want to go for this middle crew, but like, unless I get one round with Thea, I don't really feel confident. For pretty obvious reasons. I don't even want to I guess I'll do that. Like, I've been really burning through these heal staves. Balancing heal or EXP is like really tricky when you, uh, don't know who you're going to be rolling at any given time. Let me say that. I feel like there are more pirate reinforcements than this. Maybe I'm just okay. Maybe there are more like reinforcements from their base. I'm pretty sure it's the villagers with the energy ring. So if so, that should be pretty much locked in. Well, good luck, Bartray's soldiers. You're doing great. Um, uh, keep on holding him for one. Heard, I guess. 
Really hope nobody happens to mention uh, his dead daughter that I uh, didn't save. Sorry, sorry, fear fans. Uh, um, should have salty a jam, I guess. Whatever. There they are. I remember there being a lot of reinforcements on this, so I was like really perplexed if they weren't showing up, but I guess I'm, maybe I'm like mixing up the pirate reinforcements and the uh, ace reinforcements. You guys are doing great. That was excellent. Don't attack or anything, just stand there. I'd be really mad if uh, they were who I'm supposed to protect, like if it was like all the green units or something. Hey dudes, sorry about killing your daughter and stuff. That was, uh, that was my bad. You have every reason to want me dead, Bartray. <laughs> no, it's not your mistake, buddy. Um, sorry. He's very justified wanting to kill me. Go, Bartray, go. Cool unit. He's, uh, absolutely like a meme. But he's a fun meme, I guess. I will see if she can one round, but I doubt it. She's not especially great. I feel like I have like no strategy at this point. I'm just kind of arbitrarily moving. Um, like all of my uh, preparations were based around saving the villagers and recruiting uh, Geese and Bartray, and then I like, pass out. It was like. I don't know, I'll just do stuff and hope it works, I guess. Um, always the sign of a well-prepared tactician. I think I just uh, bait the hand axe with OJ. Can I move through here? I feel like these are both like non-traversable, uh, but I'm, maybe I'm just like overthinking it. Whatever, let's go around. And now I'm curious. I feel like that would be a really stupid design of it being totally blunt. Um, I'm gonna check. I'm, I'm very curious on if I can like move around that or not. Hope I didn't have to protect you guys. I'm, I'm really second guessing that now. If it's like all the green units or... Surely that can't be it for reinforcements. I just remember this map being like really overwhelming with reinforcements, but like yeah, maybe I'm thinking of hard. I feel like this game has a lot of differences between normal and hard. It's just normal because I feel like the run is like super experimental and it's like, I don't know. I I, I wanna make sure that I can actually beat it. Like I feel like if if this were to could like evolve and continue, I feel like I would probably ultimately go for like a hard mode. But FE6 is so difficult, so it's like, eh, no, yeah, there's no way. You can't even double with the Iron Lance, oh my gosh. What a disaster you are, they, uh... Really glad I risked everything for you last map. I feel like in retrospect I should have just, like, let her die, but... I, I want to recruit everyone, I feel like this run is, like, more fun when you have more units. Okay, that is so obnoxious. You actually can't move through there. I kind of thought so, like, with the, the way the terrain was, like, it looks like you should be able to, but no. This is very, very irritating to map design. Like, what the heck? You could, you could add, like, one more traversable space. Whatever. I don't know why this annoys me so much. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I remember this map being, like, really heavy on reinforcements. Green unit is just going bananas. Refuses to attack, but... Well, that's... Okay, I don't really know what's going on with his AI. Uh, I would have assumed that he would attack. I'm gonna back off a little bit. I, I, I'm just gonna kind of wait for this guy to die, and then we'll worry about it. Sort of hope I don't bait the entire group. Uh, if I do, is it the end of the world? 
no wish. Uh, I, I don't know. I want to say I can take it with this little group, but I'm kind of stuck at guess like that because a lot of my stronger units are up here. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say I remember this map like having tons of reinforcements. Like I remember being like really annoyed with that the last time I played this. Alrighty. Ugh, this spot is so clunky. Like, oh my gosh. Can always count on Dorothy. Yes! Speed! Oh my gosh. She might not even need the speed wing. She's actually kind of started to turn that around a little bit. Ah, that's awesome. Good Dorothy. Always a very good wild card pick. I feel like my Dorothy's been doing well, honestly. Like, she ran into some speed issues, but even then, I feel like she's just all around doing pretty good as a unit. Just making sure I can't hand axe Thea. Uh, I, I feel like she would probably die, honestly. She's so bad. Um, not even bad, just... It's like a second Shanda situation. You have to like really start feeding her kills. And I mean, I'm not really all that interested in doing it, if I'm being totally honest. Should be some ballista shots left for me to use. Yeah, I felt like I like I initially had more confidence in my groups, and then I was, and then it just kind of hit me that like almost all of my best units are on the north one. So I was like, maybe I shouldn't be charging in with this one, this group. I don't know. Okay, OJ is like, critting like, so often; it's really odd. Don't get me wrong; I mean, I'll, I'll take it, but. I'd like to get some Geese XP in here too. Hmm, can't quite double. That's unfortunate. I would, I would like to see some uh, Dorothy doubles. I don't love this spot. Um, I'm kind of halfway considering just backing up again, but. Uh, eh. Chances. Sure, yeah, you just have really bad luck, apparently. I was gonna say, like, I can't imagine all these units just have, like, really high crit chance or anything. It's just, no, it's just, uh... Thea is unlucky, it seems. Heroes could tell you that. Her, uh... Her one alt is as a backpack unit. Like, there was an entire Epi-6 bride banner, and then, uh... The one unit that wasn't from Epi-6 was Katria, who is, like, paired up with Thea, and it's like... I feel like the devs just kind of knew that they that Thea couldn't really sell a uh, unit by herself. It's like, it feels so unfortunate, because, like, Shanna and Juno both got ults on that banner, and then it's like, you could just tell that the devs had absolutely no faith in for Thea, or Taze, or whatever you want to call her. Sorry, Tate fans. I don't know how popular she is. I, I feel like she's not, but I don't know. I, I don't, oh my gosh, you get, yeah, you just get flat out one shot. Ow. That's mean. I get backed up a little bit too much in all of this. I was kind of like, I don't know, just a little hasty. I don't want to try it, but the fact that she gets one shot, man, it's like, she couldn't even kill there, so that would be a really bad idea, but you know what I mean. I hope. I feel like I say you know what I mean a lot whenever I just, like, don't elaborate on anything. I just kind of, like, say something, say, like, an incomplete thought, and then just say, you know what I mean, and 
Hope you know what I mean. But you know what I mean. I'm so good at words. There's a little bit of danger for Rutger there, but not enough that I'm actually, like, concerned for him. It's so tempting to give them one to Dorothy. I'm, I'm, no, I shouldn't. It really doesn't improve Rutgers' odds either that much either way, honestly. Um, I need to find a spot to give Alina a kill, though. Jeez. She is really tricky in a, in a red like this. Like, oh my gosh. Keep backing off a little bit. I, I really don't want to aggro that whole group down there. Uh, the uh, mercenary in particular is, is not something I really want to deal with. There are the obnoxious amount of reinforcements. I was wondering where they were. Oh, nice. That is that. Okay. Cool. No tension here. Uh, honestly, I feel like Rutger would be fine either way, but, like, if one of those improbable hits were to hit him, and then the mercenary hit him, I think, okay, great. Whatever, his level up's been really good, I can't really complain overall. Um, no, there wasn't really any danger there. Well, okay, there was, but it was, like, really, really unlikely. Unfortunately, I really don't want to take this risk because she gets one shot. Like, it's a 92, but it's a FE6 92. Oh my gosh, dude. Nice. And, like, you probably think I'm exaggerating when I talk about how bad this game's, uh, like, RNG could be, but I'm really not. I feel like it's just so commonplace for you to get super unlucky in this game, and, like, I don't know, the numbers are just all skewed. Ah, very clever positioning on the bandit's part. <laughs> probably a better player than I am, if I'm being honest. I don't know why I'm so scared of just one bandit. It's like really, really wonky. Ow. I really hope that uh, Archer doesn't have anything scary, because that would be really annoying. I would absolutely reset for Rutger. Oh my gosh, that person is moving now. Yikes. Yes! Yes! Go Lina! Okay, why is my Lilina so slow? I, I don't really understand that. Um, Lilina, you're supposed to be pretty fast, aren't you? Because you're kind of not right now. It's, it's kind of becoming a slight issue, if I'm being totally honest. A clean one round from Miss Dorothy. Always a good idea. I think there's a way I can get this thing. Yeah. Wrong unit. Uh, yeah. Nice. I'd like to give it to Geese. He's kind of has skill issues. I feel like that's one of the reasons why he's relatively unpopular. Uh, he... Oh, no, okay, it's a different mercenary. I wasn't paying attention. 
Well, whatever. I'm gonna go. Uh, let's just chip him. Okay, or just miss. Nice, Wolf. Good job. There are those obnoxious reinforcements. I I remembered it. I remember there being like ten thousand reinforcements on this chapter. I remember it, like taking like way longer than it really should have. There is like no way this guy is gonna do that much to Dorothy. I feel like that last speed level up was like the missing link for what I needed for Dorothy to like really start shining. And I'm quite happy that she got it. The power of friendship will see us through this enemy. I hope unless OJ misses, then it's gonna be a disaster. I feel like having a group that has just, like, a semi-weak archer, two axe bros, an okay archer, and a slightly behind OJ, it, it just isn't a good fit for this freaking bandit. <laughs> I don't feel super confident in taking a lot if I'm being totally blunt. Um, Dorothy doesn't want around again, maybe like try some shenanigans. By shenanigans, I mean try to get some EXP to some units who need it. I don't know if she went around. I turn animations on for this one. Why? I don't know. I just, uh, I like seeing Dorothy kill things. It's fun. I wouldn't be pushing more, but I also kind of want to, like, wait out the reinforcements. But I don't know how long they last. Like, I have no idea, if I'm being honest. Ow. Good hit. My Dorothy just hits like a mock truck. Like, even with just an iron bow, she hits really hard. Um, I'll have to rescue whoever goes down here, but... Oh my gosh. Thea, you are just an absolute train wreck, aren't you? Her bases just aren't that good. I, I feel like, okay, maybe this will be like the level up that turns everything around. Okay. <laughs> nice! I actually wasn't, I was actually like not counting on that at all. I was expecting it to be a terrible, but yeah, yeah sure. If you, if that's what you want to do, like, I'll take that. Take that! Sorry, I'm playing Ace Attorney. I'm very close to the end of uh, Great Ace Attorney 2. Like, I'm on the final case, and I'm a decent bit into the final case. Very good game. By the time this goes live, I will almost certainly have beaten it, unless something goes, like, catastrophically wrong and, like, my switch blows up or something. <laughs> this one freaking mercenary is, like, really scaring me. So are the reinforcements done? Only be animation thought for this for the rest of this. I feel like I'm making okay time. Like if if the reinforcements are done, then I will probably finish pretty soon. Love it. This little Lena's been just immensely disappointing. If I'm being totally honest, uh, I feel like I usually have really good luck with her. Like she just usually gets like really good level ups and like quickly uh, grows out of her kind of under leveled start. But this Lolina, not so much. I have five notifications, what the heck. To check that out later, see what's going on. Maybe the world is ending, like, as I'm recording this, and I'm getting notifications, like, Hey, stop recording Binding Blade, the world is ending. That'd be, that'd be interesting. It'd be an interesting day. I love Elephant's animations, too, by the way. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's actually, like, really surprising. Uh, wow. I feel like Elvin's defense is like really sucked. His offenses don't matter in the least. He can't attack. Well, go Elvin. Uh, he's usually like really frail. There's actually a reason why he comes with that angelic robe. I feel like you're intended to use it on him just to uh, keep him safe. Uh, usually, Elvin, my usually like my Elvins are extremely frail. It is really funny, though. You can have him completely wall off uh, half of a chapter if you want. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, I this my group outnumbers theirs, and I'm still terrified. I'm really worried about prompting more reinforcements. Armor Slayer, Lance Reaver. That's This might honestly be a zealot job entirely. Uh, I kind of feel like the reinforcements aren't done, but I might be mistaken. Oh, Saul, he's almost got never level up. Yeah, in a normal run, I would probably just be dropping Elena for Lou at this point. Not that my Lou has been doing great. He hasn't shown up in a while, either. He's probably getting, like, really far behind by the time he comes to the back. I love the bird. It's a really cool animation in general. Elfin's a cool character. It's got a lot of plot relevance, which is, like... It's really odd that a uh, fairly plot important character is uh, like optional. Yeah. So they're moving, but there aren't any more reinforcements. Interesting. Let's back up. And I'll just run on in there next turn. Please don't, please don't go against someone. For your own safety. Contain support with Roy. I feel like that is a thing, but I'm not positive there. No Roy supports offhand other than Walt. I hate the fact that this entire group is being held up by this one little blockade. Yeah, it'd be bad if we got that if we got that crit. Granted, it wouldn't have killed, so, like, whatever. I'm gonna be honest, just being able to chunk off half of a health bar with one, uh, like, iron bow usage is, like, really handy. Eh, sure. Kind of a waste of a brave axe, if I'm being honest, but, eh. Come on, Lelina. Redemption arc. I just unfortunately can't really commit to um, strictly not using her, sadly. With that said, she is low on my list of candidates to get a guiding ring. Like, with how... Maybe it will turn it all around right here. I'm not commenting on that. I I, I, I feel like I should, but I, I just have nothing to say anymore about this unit. I even sell it. I was gonna try to give this to Thea, but this is actually this enemy is like surprisingly kind of a threat, so. we can do. Pull some shenanigans, as they say, and by they I mean myself, who just said that phrase I think, like earlier. Um, I'll try for it, why not? Eh, nice. Good job, Thea. Always, always a, uh, always a good one. Uh, I'm actually going to just kind of kill it, I think. This enemy is a little too threatening. That it's like the crit chance is low, but I just don't want to deal with crit chance. As much as I want to give that EXP to somebody else. I felt like there were more reinforcements, but I might be misremembering. Um, I just remember getting to the castle and getting like same turn reinforcements and being like, oh my gosh, that's so annoying. But I might be totally off base. Okay. 
I'm going to move Zealot down here. If I prompt him to reinforcements, then he should be at least... Uh, he, he should die shortly. Fingers crossed, watch as they all have halberds. I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking of the like wave that I already cleared out, and it's just that I played so much faster on my last attempt, which is like so bad on me, but... I don't know, I just remember being really annoyed by some same for reinforcements. Uh, I trust Dorothy. Alright. Maybe they aren't there. Well, let's just start heading down. What do you have? Sliver Axe, Horse Slayer, Javelin. What an irritating lineup of weapons you have. Whatever, I'll probably just end up using a lot of like magic and stuff. I'd like to get the Ballista group in the middle just strictly for EXP, but it's probably not happening. I will deal with you eventually, boss. We have some stuff to do first. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, wait, no. Wait, no. I just need to find one more heal with Saul, but he just got that level up. I am so on it today. <laughs> am I ever on it? I feel like I, I feel like that's one thing I've really learned in this run. Like, in, in recording in general, like, I'm never, like, on it. Lelina might be my best choice against the boss. I will say that, for as much as I've kind of, like, memed on Lelina for... Okay, I, you need to get movement. Yeah, as much as I've kind of, like, memed around about Lelina, um... She... She's still a magic user in a game with... Oh, nice. Clean one round. Go to me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes! Dorothy has been doing great. Like, I, I'm just gonna say it at this point. She is, like, really turned around. And, like, once she promotes, I feel like everything's gonna come together. And she's gonna be, like, super, super, super good. I hope. <laughs> I'm going to Vulnerary, and I know it's just 1 HP, but I just want to be super, super safe here. I really want a Geese in particular, and ideally Gonzalez, to get some EXP. Look at that 1 HP bull, it's like really pointless, but uh, there's just a little bit of concern that like maybe the enemy have some kind of like, wily tricks up their sleeve. Could bait, but like the, the baiting the expert is like not that important. <laughs> okay, OJ, I'm kinda counting on you here, buddy. I'd be so mad if OJ dies. I would probably have I feel obligated to reset for him. I'm just worried about the crit chance, again. Alright. Nothing to worry about, I hope. Okay, so what am I trying to do? I'm trying to give this to Mr. Geese. Oh, nice. Double. Cool. Now I can actually damage check, too. Come on, geese, get something good, please. I'll take it. Uh, kinda wish you got skill, but speed's nice. Okay, you don't even have to a chance, so there was like... I, I was worried about like all of this for like almost nothing, <laughs> so nice. Nice. Uh, I can want to lean on the other side, I think. Kinda setting up for the, like, to go for this boss. Ooh, 
Bojay. What a bizarrely reliable unit he's been. I, I'm really perplexed. Oh my gosh. Tate, you're a disaster. Um... I'll take a pop shot with Walt, I guess. He needs the XP. Just make sure I, like, have all the damage I've checked. Yeah, I'll be fine. Um... Cool. I guess I'll just start shooting for 3% crits with Alita. <laughs> this won't take forever, I promise. The good part is I now have a dancer to uh, take two shots per turn and before I rescue drop. Come on, Lolina, crit! Or doesn't miss. Whatever you want to do, Lolina. Every six bosses, there was just so much. Um, I actually, like... As I'm recording this, I just uploaded the, uh, Curiosity. How does it really do here? Eh, not the best. Still might try. Uh, as I'm recording this, I just, like, uploaded the heading chapter. Like, actually, it hasn't even gone live. I've, I'm actually quite a bit ahead of live great recordings versus, uh... Yeah, versus my uploads. And uh, it's just, like, I was watching it back. I like to edit it and stuff. That's yeah, a pretty good level. And uh, I was like, man, this boss is so annoying. What the heck? That'd be six. Um. Vuln on OJ, I think. Let's shoot for some Dorothy crits, I guess. Totally not just doing this for Dorothy XP. Totally not. Aww. I feel like this is exactly the situation I was in last map. Um, nice. Do you still have my light brand, by the way? Uh, no. Can. You shall. That might be a, Yeah, that's gonna be the play. Oh my gosh, that's so much more reliable. I actually I feel like I've like kind of underappreciated just how useful the light brand is. Oh nice. OJ doubles now because of that level up. I was kinda hoping to give it to like Wolt or something, but like uh, that's fine. Yeah, I I've actually like never really fully appreciated how uh, useful Light Brand is like for the FE6 early game before this run, but like, it's really setting in. Like, Light Brand Rutger can really put in some work against these bosses. Like, that is so much more reliable than anything else I have. I think Dancer speeds it up a lot too, thankfully. Oh my gosh. I think I was like, I, like on an earlier recording, I was saying there aren't two range shorts, and then I totally forgot about the light brand. It's one of those weapons that's like, I'm so used to being. A <laughs> if I'm being honest, like my last experience with a light brand is uh, with it being. Leaf's uh, unique sword, so I'm like, I always think of it as Leaf's sword and not just some random weapon that anybody could use in this game. I'm willing to shoot for that Dorothy crit, if I'm being honest. I got the crit, but... Honestly, not that much of a risk. Do 
There's no favoritism here. Go, Dorothy. Single-handedly killed the boss. No help whatsoever. No, that was a really dull wrecker. Aw. That was an unfortunate level up. I feel like I, I feel like uh, my blatant favoritism was punished. Whatever, it's fine. She's doing really well. Um, how much does it say there? Her speed's like hit. Okay, cool. I did the energy ring. Nice. Uh, her strength is like the best in my entire army, and her speed has become quite decent at this point. Oh, this chapter, of course. Um, cool. So, it'll be 11 spins and a wild card. Okay, we have added uh, Elfin, Bartray, and Geese to the wheel, all of whom are quite solid rolls for me. Um, yeah. What else? Um, no, not much else to say. Make sure I've got everybody selected. I'm always, like, really paranoid about that. Like, I want this to be... As fair as possible. I, w I don't want it to run. I don't want to run into a situation where um, I like leave somebody off of the wheel or something. Like I, that'd be really bad for like the run. Let's do it. Start spinning. Marcus. He is at this point strictly worth zealot, but sure, he should. He should still be able to contribute something. Uh, I feel like he's. Solidly fallen off at this point in the run, but he'll do more than like a Wendy or something. Saul, who has been coming up a lot lately, especially like uh, I picked him as a wild card in one uh, two, and then he's been spun a lot lately. So cool, go Saul. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I cursed my role by mentioning her. Geese! Okay, cool. Go geese. This is a really, really tricky one. Shanna! Oh my gosh, this chapter is going to be really hard. I can already feel this being like one of the harder chapters in a while. Uh, Shanna. She's been the best. I think my phone to check something like really quickly. Noah! Why couldn't you have come up a few chapters ago so I could have gotten fear? Uh, he's alright. He's kind of behind as far as my calves go, but he's alright. Um, so five spins left. Alright. Had to check something. Lance! He's also slightly behind, but he did get a level up or two in the last chapter, so... This is gonna be a calf map, it seems. <laughs> Interesting. That's interesting. Uh, I'll explain the mechanics of why this was interesting in a little bit. Like, once I finish rolling. Once they spin three more times. I think she's everybody. Just, like, double checking. I'm, like, paranoid about this. I think I've... Ellen! Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I think I've chosen everybody that's comfortable so far. I was really paranoid about, like, missing somebody, because I don't, like, admit that for... Uh, Lance, Saul, Wendy, Marcus, Nefos, Annie, Lou, Geese, Ellen. I think I got everybody. So, two spins left. Walt! What would this run be without Walt appearing? Almost every map. Last spin! Hoping for Dorothy, hoping for Elfin, hoping for... Klein and Bartray would be nice. Um, there is some day I've been really hoping to pop up, but it's, it's like an interesting case now. I 
I really wish that didn't tick over. I really sincerely wish that didn't tick over. Um, if you're curious, the character who I was just referring to, who I hoped would pop up, was Chad. Okay, so we are done spinning. Let's get rid of that. So, why was Lou an interesting role? Um, there is a playable character to grab on this one, Ray. He can be grabbed by Lou or Chad. Um, I was actually, like, really strongly considering taking Chad as my wildcard pick on this one. Just because there's a lot of thief utility, and Chad can also double down by recruiting Ray. Rolling Lou makes that more, like, a, a tougher decision, I think. Because I can get the character, and, uh... You also get Kath on this map, but the thing is, this map is, uh... I believe you're supposed to move really quickly, like, uh, to get the guy in. And so I feel like the idea of recruiting Kath and then going for all of the chests after that is, like, really unrealistic. With that said... Um, I need to check my key situation. Uh, okay, so I got five... Okay, damn it, that's, like, not enough. Um, I really should have bought one more chest key, I guess. This might be one where I don't lock my wild card in yet. Um, so there are, if I'm counting correctly, there are six chests. Meaning that if one of the chests wasn't especially good, I could, in theory, just commit to opening five of them and leaving one. Uh, I'm just really debating on if it's worth even taking Chad as my wildcard pick strictly for the chests. Like, if I didn't roll Lou, it would 100% be Chad. Uh, just to give, just to grab a little smug Ray over here while having the DP agility in one shot. This is an interesting one. It's, uh, there's actually, like, a lot of, like, dynamics in play for this one wildcard slot. Um... Dorothy is tempting as as ever, but she might sit this one out. Um, I'm actually kind of leaning towards Elfin right now, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's probably going to be Elfin or Chad, depending on like what I land on. I don't know. I'm gonna have to really think about this one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I can't believe she's back in the game. Yay! This is tough. I really, I was really hoping that Chad would just get rolled, but, uh... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to lock my wild card in yet. I think I'm going to think this one over, and I'm going to, like, really, like, look at the map and see if there are any chests that are just, like, outright not worth it. This is an annoying map, too, by the way. Uh, yeah, there it is. The old siege magic. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, whatever. Interesting roles, I'll say that. Just very, very interesting roles. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm like ranting too much. Think that, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, I think I'll wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. This is, I, I've said it before, I'm having so much fun with this goofy run. It really is just silly but fun. So hopefully that is how other people see it as well, and not just completely arbitrary and just ridiculous in, like, a bad way. Uh, yes, I will end it here, and hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. Have an awesome day.